Hey everybody, it's Ryan. I want to give you a little overview of these YHW Smart Downlights. Now, full disclosure, this company reached out to me and said, Ryan, can you please, can you please do one of your detailed reviews about our downlights? And who am I to say no? So in no way whatsoever will these being provided to me positively nor negatively impact my review. This is going to be real simple because these are really simple yet really effective and you might like what you're going to see. Uh, I hope to answer all the questions you might possibly even have about these lights. So these are a recessed, I call them, you call them can lights. You need a five to six inch hole in the ceiling. Now you can cut in a, uh, a new light fixture, no problemo. Um, or if you already have some and you're trying to kick it up a notch, as I like to say. So one from an ease of install, it, it comes with this already kind of pre-wired. This is a connection. It's just a little quick connect comes off and on. So if you wanted to quote unquote hardwire this uh, and splice some wires in, you can definitely do that. If you already have a fixture in place that has one of these, your standard socket, can't remember what size it is, uh, but your standard light bulb socket that is already up in the ceiling. Uh, you literally just unscrew this, uh, unscrew your bulb, unscrew or un, uh, take off the what would be called like a trim ring usually as far as the ones I'm gonna get ready to show you how, how it's set up for this example. You screw it in and that's it. You got power, it's a wrap. Um, now how to get this to clip in, you have your, your sheetrock on your ceiling sheetrock is about you know yay thick and so all you do is you take these these uh, flaps you push it up and then these grab for example if this was your sheetrock it grabs onto it holds it in nice and firm and then it's spring loaded so if you need to remove it at any point in time you definitely can now pretty simple all you do is you just plug it in the instructions say these need to be reset the reset feature is you just take your 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 uh your wall switch and you cycle the power on these on and off per the instructions it's very easy to see um, about three or four times a little best practice is you have to give it about two seconds every time you turn the light on and off and then it will trigger this to reset the the light bulb will actually flash in a couple different colors letting you know hey these have been reset you go to your um, go to the app go to add device and then you just add all your devices and then you can control these. And so from your phone, you can control the brightness, you can control the color. Uh, some pretty cool stuff. In the app, you'll see there are a couple different settings. Uh, there's a music function, there's a, a dim function, so you can kind of you know, have this dim. Uh, there's a timer mode, so you can literally set it to at a certain time, let's just say in the morning if you want it to wake you up or help you wake up. Uh, you can go in there and say, all right, Ed. There's also a timer function to where you can go in there and you can set it up to, let's just say, wake you up. So let's just say you want to get up at 6 a.m. in the morning. You could have it set to slowly turn on the lights at whatever color you want. You know, so you could have it on a red color for whatever reason. Uh, or if it's during the holiday times and you want to do something, let's just say, kind of spooky around Halloween, you might want to have it sort of like a green ambiance or whatever. So there are a lot of cool uh, features. The, the, the customization that they advertise, it's got 6 million colors because every color's got a dimmable and you know, so you can go green, blue, yellow, red, whatever it is, um, has all those different colors. And uh, from a, a quality and look standpoint, it's got a nice clean, um, you could say modern-esque, but this is um, just has a nice clean look to it with your trim ring. And you, be, you can see from the installation video, very smooth very, uh, I would say high quality. Um, you know, I'm not an electrician or whatever. I just know that I've installed a lot of lights in my house and I can tell by looking at this, um, it definitely has a nice, uh, professional, um, this is, this, this feels, you know, this feels like it's got high quality to it, whatever that means. All right. So once you get them installed, that's what it's going to look like. So you got a nice clean, recessed uh, look and what we're gonna do is we're going to connect to the app so once you download the app you're gonna have a couple different options here 
and you're going to hit this button right here and you're going to add your devices so in this situation we have a couple lights uh, you know going on but just for the just for the sake of this uh, demonstration to kind of keep everything in the shot we'll go like this you know so we have these two lights here now what we can do going here is we can adjust the brightness as you can see there the brightness is going up it's going down and I am doing both of these at the same time uh, all four can be synced together and I can adjust the colors of the lights based on kind of the mood that I'm going for Let me brighten this up a little bit you know, so if you are, let me back up a little bit. So if you are wanting to, you know, let's just say, let's just say it's around the Halloween time and you want something that's a little more on the, uh, the spookiness, you could have kind of some dark kind of purplish colors or whatever, green. And, or you can go to your standard, you know, lights, more of a, a cool, a warm light or a cool light. And then if I want... I can go here and I can say I don't want to I don't want to do these individually you can see this is just my one individual light and I might want to change the color as you can see just for this light in front this one right here but that one back there is staying the same so I can do multiple colors on different ones based on kind of the mood that I'm in or if I don't want to have them all lit up I can turn one off and I can turn one on and then go back to this. Got everything the same. Again, I can go here, I can shut it all off. You can come also go in here and set presets. So under this CCT, whatever that means, I can come in here and I can create different um, color temperatures based on kind of quick, quick colors. So if I have this setting here, or here you can see the, the color change in the background, but you just long press, and then this is just based. I think these are most of like your, your natural colors, and you can come in here and customize that. You also have some fun uh, presets in here that have to do with, you know, you have se uh, seven color cross fades. You can see here it's, it's just fading. And then go to red gradual. Now I have green gradual, purple gradual, and these are just kind of fading, you know, so if you wanted that effect, you have those options there. You also have an opportunity to create custom uh, patterns as far as jump or strobe. You know, so if you were having a, let's just say you're having a party, <laughs> you can come in here and you can set a whole bunch of, uh, Let's just call them interesting, you know, color changes, you know, based on some different things that you might want to do. There's also a mic setting. So, for example, we have this set to where while I'm talking, you might see the different colors changing. And so imagine if you had this set up and it was listening and you were playing music in your house or garage or wherever you had this. The color and when it's flashing is going to react to what is going on. So this is called the... Um, this is called the, the microphone sensitivity. You can make it soft. You can make it really, really sensitive. And it kind of gives you an idea here. You can hear my voice and it's adjusting the way the colors are going. Then you have a music setting down here to where if you had music playing, it would jump along with the color here. For copyright purposes, I'm not gonna play any music, but you would import this, it would say select music, and then you would import it from your device, and it would, so the music that's streaming or playing from your device would interact with the light. So that's pretty cool. There's also a feature called camera, where you could literally point the camera at something, let's say point it here at the carpet, hit capture, and then the color matches the color that you just took in the picture. So here, watch, this is a little bit more of a lighter color. You see the, the lights change. Here's a different color. As I click this, the light changes again. Let's see what happens when I do this here, this, this dark color here. So you can see it pretty much turned off. You know, so that's kind of an interesting thing. I'm not sure where you would want to do that. Maybe if you're just trying to create a very specific ambiance to complement maybe some color that's in your house. So if you don't know 
um, you know, what exact color you want to create on your own, you have the opportunity of just of literally just copying an existing color that is on the uh, wall or wherever you're shining this on. You also have an opportunity here where it has a timer and you can set custom times, maybe like a, like a wake up time each, each uh, you know, day of the week at a certain time. You can come in here, you can set all this stuff up and what's your action? I want it to turn on, turn off, you know, whatever you want associated with that time. So let's just say you wanted to have the light slowly turn on, that you wanted to, you want it to fade. You could have it slowly fade on from slow, uh, from, from uh, very light to very uh, uh, dark, I should say, to very bright. You can have that set up as well. So if you're in your, for example, bedroom or wherever you're sleeping, you can say, okay, 6 a.m. in the morning, I want the lights to slowly turn on to give you some, some light to complement maybe your alarm or whatever it is. So there's a lot of custom features that go along with this, all in the app, very user-friendly. And you can actually come in here and add some additional, yeah, there's some share control options here. So if you have a family, you wanted to kind of share this access uh, to folks in your family, you can definitely do that. So in summary, if you're looking for some decorative, I would say nice looking can lights, they have a, definitely a, a nice modern, more modern look than the ones I actually had. I actually took those out. Um, you're gonna definitely get that ease of install, super, super easy. I gotta give compliments to that, so shout out to the company. Very super uh, easy to install. And then the, uh, the app is very user friendly, a lot of custom features, more custom features than I could possibly imagine, but I can just imagine maybe there's a situation where I wanna have a party and I wanna get kinda crazy with the lights. So um, you do have a lot of customization there as far as all that's concerned for all seasons throughout the year alarms and just a whole lot of fun features. Hopefully that answered any questions you might have and we'll talk to you soon.